let's see if we can't press the rating ladder a bit more. We're at 1301. Let's try to make it to 1400 by the end of this video. But our opponent, he needs something to move. That's, that's it. That's the stuff. All right. I will break your wall. It is good. No. Free development all day long. Okay. You convinced me. Let's have some fun. Bad bishop? <laughs> good bishops? Interesting how that works. All right. I'm going for it anyway. Uh-huh, and that makes it weak. So when there are weaknesses, see, you can get in a hurry here. Bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes d7, queen a1 check, ah! king d2, and I'm hitting the queen, he goes rook d8, take, take ooh, is that okay? Bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes d7, queen a1, king d2, Ah, that's it. Some rook takes f2 check in between or something. All right, yeah, we'll just go knight h3. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. We've isolated his pawns. Knight got to a good square. Uh, thank you, thank you. That's what I wanted. That's weak, like really weak. Bishop g4. Oh man, you gotta you gotta protect your pieces. Come on now. And that's going to be it. And the forward squares of the knight are taken away. I guess he wasn't too worried about that. Okay. Seeing how fast we could end it. Bishop takes e5 looked like the best way to go. All right, on to the next one. Push, push the rating. Uh huh. Oh! e6. Will you let me take this one? Oh, okay. I'm okay with that. And I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to go there. Breaking from our normal hippo, but hey, if they offer you free stuff, take it. Take the free stuff. Take it. <laughs> Why not? I respect you. I respect that move. Got him thinking. I like this game. All right, you bothering my boy. That's not good. But there's no discoveries that really bother me. Bishop there runs into d4. Let's just go there, keep the tension. If he castles, we can take on d2 because the king and the bishop are currently defending. Another strong move. I don't want to get trapped. And when you worry, that's just unhealthy. I worry about this guy, but I think we'll be okay. It's 
See, impulse was correct. Wait one more move and you win free stuff. What's one more move? Went up material, trade down. And to expedite the process, make trades, open up the position for your pieces, simplify the win. Uh-huh. I just want to mate. I just want to mate. I just want to make. Do, 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 and do, do. Do, 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 do. It's all right. Hitting both. Rook F8 is a backup plan, if you will. I needed to play g takes h5 and push. I wanted to defend f5. Yeah. This wins. You will go away. It does what it's told. Go away. Extra rooks help. Open files are meant for rooks. We're not going to touch him the rest of the game. Multiple ways to win, even without the knight here. All right. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we got time for a few more. And oh, yeah, I wanted to, to push to 1,400 in this video. So let's do that. September 2018. It's like a Green Day song. All right. Pre-move the easy captures that you want to see. Love it. Um, I'm going to go E4 straight away. Takes, takes. We get the same kind of position we had earlier where I castled queenside. Here, we want to go for the F4 natural break. But don't be in too much of a hurry. Knight G4. You don't want to give him the E3 square. H3 first. Now we're looking for F4. We have optimal conditions for everything. We're going to have a huge kingside attack, and there's nothing much that he can do about it. So the pain will be felt in this game. It will be vicious. We will attack. Space. Slow plans to get a rook on the open file. Not worried about that. B4, A4. A5, A4, B4. Lock. The attack's over here. 
Center's locked. Play on the wings. We can lock his attack in the wings. And he's attacking nothing. Our king's not over there. Nothing to worry about. Here, on the other hand, he's got some stuff to worry about. So I'm going to first kick things off with bishop f3. And that's actually terrible because he's got knight h7. It's a good move. Good, good move. All right. I wanted the king out of the way. Now the king is starting to get involved. That's okay. Slow plans sometimes. Bishop f3 was just ridiculously inaccurate. That's very disappointing. And I played bishop c1, so if queen g5, I could go queen e1. And we're going to play h4 at a moment to be specified soon. Queen can come to g3. Yeah, he's he slowed us down with some decent defense there, but you cannot stop what is coming. That is done. You have nothing to do now in the position. This leads to big problems. h4, I expect knight takes up 3. Huh. It's coming, one way or another. The breakthrough is imminent. Bishop is strong. f6 is met by g6, where we're going to mate on the h-file. That way, I don't see your king escaping. You have made a coffin. Rook h1, rook takes, king takes, queen check, followed by queen h6 and queen g7 mate. So we need to get a rook to the open file. All right, stop that nonsense. Not exactly a model game because of my wasted time, but still very pleasing with this finish. Knight there. That's the only thing that could stop us, I think. So yeah, o overall, that's pretty solid planning from start to finish for white with how to execute the king side attack. Make sure to lock it up over here. They just don't have anything. So that, that makes it for a clean game for you. So hopefully you enjoyed that attacking effort. Uh-huh. Why did I go e6 again? That's supposed to be a nuna move. All right. I'll uh, hopefully get away with this. Yeah, he found the right move. Um, okay. We'll go the other way. <laughs> it's odd, but I want to weaken the strength of a potential d5 push. If he takes, the question is what to take back with. That's kind of interesting conundrum. Now that's terrible. Too many guys. GG. Now it's a matter of technique trading down. So my terrible opening, messing up, playing e6 instead of g6. The memory marker is when they go bishop c4. You play e6. Otherwise, double fianchetta. Learn as you play. One of the problem solving approaches to learning openings. And I like playing fast time controls because you can get in more games to try to figure these things out. Sometimes opening books aren't very helpful because they don't point out move orders. They just kind of give you an example game or give multiple example games of different move orders and don't talk about any significance, but typically there is. And then they don't give you middle game ideas. So hopefully these example games are doing a bit of both. And I changed my mind again. I'm going king side because now I can use the open F file and go away. Protect the rook. 
And do you really want to go this way? Because I don't think you do. All right, I didn't think so. Um, let's just do that, shore up the only weakness we have, and then we're going to start going after his king. Let's start with this one, as I think it's going to be the fastest way to win. Yeah, I'm pretty confident with that one. Rook f5, rook h5 is the idea. If f4, we've got rook takes f4. Yeah, you can have it. You want this? f4, rook takes f4. If queen g3, there. Here, where is the defense? Queen f4, queen e5. Rook running. Okay. Rook f to c1. Queen takes h2, king f1. Yeah, it's not as winning as I thought it was going to be. Disappointing. Good move. That way we've got some discoveries planned. And there was my sneaky attempt at trying to win as quickly as possible. Very natural to take there. Well, let's just go flexible. I don't see it. But extra queen time. Why waste the mental energy trying to find something that may not even be there. We'll let the engine show me how much I was missing. Seem pretty clean. Let's see, towards the end there, was I going off the rails or was this good play? It liked rook f5, it likes knight f6. Didn't hate queen h4, didn't hate rook f5, didn't hate rook h5. Uh-huh. And rook takes d5. But knight d5, why? Say the queen moves. That's the point. Okay. Fair enough, knight d5. I liked my idea. I thought it was quite slick. Queen f5 is more accurate than queen d5. Knight e4 is mate in 7. That's what I was missing. I got it one move too late as you cannot run. Nice. Saw the 94 move, but again, one move too late. All right, getting closer to 1400. This time, I didn't mess it up. We'll go there. Hippo. Lock it up. Go away. When it's locked, hit on the wing over here. I don't know what my opponent thinks he's doing. Okay, I'm going to do this. Strong bishop. Trading off my bad bishop for the good one. It's a good plan. Unless he's going all out, uh, I don't see him. Surviving this. Let's take there first. Okay. 
Okay, not sure what the plan is as of yet for him. I just wanted a good square. He wanted a good square for his piece. I took it away. I wanted a great square for mine. And here we sit. Better way to go, gets a tempo, threatens knight b6. Rooks are meant to be on open files. Okay. This was, I really, 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 really wanted that idea, but it's just not there, guy. It's not. Let's hit both. We'll take here first and then resign wishful thinking do 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 it's all right Let's we'll stop all these extra moves that he has, shall we? Yep. Now what? And again, it is okay sometimes to resign. Me. Oh, did we get it? Yes, 1401. All right, 1400. So, uh, fatigue starting to set in. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you're enjoying the, the Hippo and Hippo Ideas series. So, again, a beginner series to give you some ideas for how to play a certain opening and the follow-up ideas after the structure. And what we're seeing is, even though I intended it to be universal, typically it's not. If your opponent has any aggressive intention versus the hippo, you have to be very careful early in the opening, otherwise you can get hammered. So don't get in that dogmatic, like I'm just gonna go here, 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 here every time. You want to make the picture work, but you don't have to make the picture work 